It's another lovely wet and cold weekend here, so can't get outside and do any detailing. So today I'm going to be sharing eight tips with you on how to get your glass looking spotlessly clean. Hey guys, so welcome back. And as I said at the start of the video, today we're going to be talking about cleaning windows. This is another Probably one of those areas a lot of people not dread doing, but maybe struggle to get crystal clear glass. And admittedly, even I do get frustrated with myself at times. So first and foremost, easy two steps to start with anyone just getting into detailing. You don't even have to be a detailer, but the first two important steps. Number one, dedicated window cleaners. And you can see just here, we've got a couple. So this one here, Dodo Juice Clearly Menthol, a long time favorite of mine but pretty much every detailing brand out there will have a dedicated glass cleaner. As I say, we've got Valet Pro Glass Cleaner, Stiana Glass Glass, and Young Glass, usually all quite simply called glass cleaner or window cleaner, something along those lines. So a dedicated glass cleaner is, first of all, an absolute must. Number two, tip number two is proper glass towels. So just down here, we've got some, and again, one from Dodo Juice. This is their Mint Merkin, and it's like a waffle weave towel really like these ones these are my preferred choice however sometimes when i'm struggling to get street free finishes on glass sometimes the waffle weave probably just gets a bit oversaturated i'm not sure it might just be my technique but you've also got these glass cloths this one's from yum cars i really do like this one as well so yeah essentially you're looking for a proper glass cleaner paired up with proper glass cloths and from there you can like walk away from this video if you wish but we are going to be sharing some more tips and tricks with you just to get a little bit more pop from the glass. So if you want to step it up a notch then, tip number three is before you go ahead and hit the windows with these cleaners, give it all a dry wipe down first, whether it's with a microfiber duster or just a clean microfiber cloth. Give all the exterior of the windows a dry and a wipe down. And this is normally because when you do them, it's the last thing of your detail, and especially in the summer, a lot of dust and pollen may have accumulated all over that glass so there's no point smearing that in dry wipe it first tip number four then is the way you apply your glass cleaner now some people will say apply this directly onto the windows some will say directly into your microfiber now my personal choice if i'm doing the windscreen or the rear window i will spray this all over and then obviously clean them with my microfiber towel from then on the side windows, it depends how good you are at controlling the spray. It depends what the spray head's like on the product that you're using. But if you've not got much control over the spray action, then apply the product directly onto the cloth and then work it into the glass, so to speak, and take it from there. Which then leads us on to tip number five. Roll down your windows about six inches or so. Get the absolute top edge of the windows. That's a bit a lot of people will miss. And then when it comes to the summertime, you put your windows down you can see this dirty line oil on the top. So that's a bonus tip there. There's one I often forget to even mention in the videos. And number six then on stepping up a notch is the way you finish off the buffing process. So as you're cleaning your glass, do it how you want, do it in circles, do it in straight lines, do whatever you want when you're cleaning it. But then when you come to finishing it on the outside, say finish left to right, and then whichever way you finish the outside of the glass, on the inside of the glass, finish in an up to down motion or basically the opposite of what you did on the outside. This way, if you have got any streaks and smears, you can tell if they're on the outside or they're inside by the direction that they're going in. Before we get on to the advanced steps though, I have got a quick favor from you guys. So I'm just gonna run that a little bit and we'll come back in here in just a moment. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video that you're watching. I just wanted to ask you guys a huge favor. So I'm working on a project at the moment and I need as much old video and photos as possible ideally of car detailing or valeting or whatever you may have called it back in the 90s and the 80s the older the better so if we've got anything from the 60s and 70s that'd be great i know that's going to be difficult all i ask you guys is that you are the owners of the video or photos that you can send to me and that i can use them if you do have anything please send them over on email to randomly set at hotmail.co.uk i'll put that down here now as i said be much appreciated you will be fully credited in anything that i do use but enough of this, let's get back into the video. Okay, so I hope you can help with that little bit there. And anyway, onto the advanced steps. So if you really do want to step it up that extra knot and get a pro detail level of finish to your windows and to all your glasswork, there are three more steps. 
So number seven, I know I said there was going to be eight steps, it's actually going to be nine now, but number seven is you can consider clay in the glasswork. So if you've never clayed before, clay in the glass is normally what I suggest a lot of people do. So this is your traditional kind of clay bar and with your soapy water or clay lubricant, start on the front window if you wish and yeah, just clay all the decontamination off the glass. This will get you absolute almost pristine glasswork and as I say it's normally what I suggest to a lot of people who have never clayed before is practice on your windows. The next step then again this is if you really want to up your game is you can polish the windows and this is something you would want to do on a new car that's had dealer stickers all over even my Swace that was um, yeah that was really bad on the drive down to KDS earlier or towards the end of last year should I say and it's something we tackle then so you can either use a finishing polish like this you can use any kind of polish really I mean the glass you're not really going to do any damage to it and you can work it by hand with a microfiber applicator or as we did with Kelly Harris down at KDS is you can use a microfiber polishing pad now his tip Kelly's tip is when these have come to the end of the life for the paintwork just keep a hold of them anyway so although the fibers will have worn down keep a hold of them for cleaning glass and polishing glass as I said I'd recommend cleaning or polishing should I say brand new glasswork and then from then onwards maybe once a year depending on what protection you put on them which nicely gets us into tip number nine is protect the glasswork afterwards to make future cleaning much easier so so you can use a dedicated glass coating g technic car pro they all offer ceramic coatings for your windows or you can go simply with a rain repellent such as this one from your local high street retailer again there are a few options out there for that and you can just apply that every three to four months and that will help bead off any rainwater as you're driving along or even when it's just sat there um, so a lot of the staining you do see on your windows the reason with clay and polish is the acid rain um, fallout everything that's on your paintwork will also be on the windows as well so yes there is that so i hope you found some of these tips useful then and if you have please don't forget to smash that like button also if you could do us a huge favor and hit the subscribe icon just here now that really helps us out and it's much appreciated and we're going to put videos down here that I think you guys might enjoy. And until next time, have fun detailing.